Former Attorney General Tommy Thomas said Najib Razak's lawsuit against him and the government over alleged misfeasance in public office on 1MDB-related charges was filed for political reasons. In his affidavit of support to strike out Najib's malicious prosecution suit, Thomas said it was for use in the campaign leading up to the recent Malacca state elections and the next general election. Thomas stated that Najib had never raised any allegation of malicious prosecution as part of the defense in his SRC International case and the ongoing 1MDB cases. The four criminal cases against Najib are still pending in the High Court, and Najib remains as an accused person, he said. Last month, Najib had filed the suit against Thomas and the government, claiming that the 1MDB-related charges against him were part of a long-planned premeditated exercise. He is seeking 1.94 million ringgit in damages. He alleged that Thomas, who was Attorney General from June 4, 2018 to February 28, 2020, carried out his duties in line with the plans of the then Pakatan Harapan government. The government, which is named as co-defendant, and Thomas, seek to strike out Najib's suit on the grounds that it is frivolous, vexatious, and an abuse of the court process. In the suit, Najib had also claimed that Thomas had prejudged his cases before making a decision to charge him, as well as interfered in the investigations. Thomas contended he never owed any duty to Najib to not speak about his cases. Thomas also argued that Najib did not plead in this suit that the four cases had been compromised because of his remarks. Najib's trials are heard by professional and capable judges who will determine the cases alone. The High Court set January 19, 2022 as the next mention date. Telefon baru percuma untuk semua. Pilih mana satu anda suka tanpa perlu kelulusan atau pendahuluan. Padankan dengan pelan pasca bayar tanpa had terbaik kami.